Okay, developers, welcome back. If you've been working with Web3 projects and deploying smart contracts, you've no doubt at some point had to hand over your mnemonic phrase and private keys to someone else's JavaScript application. This gives me a little bit of anxiety each and every time. But today's sponsor, Consensus Software Inc. have requested an honest review of their new Truffle dashboard, a new developer tool to help us improve our security and our workflow while keeping our sensitive information secret. In this video, we're gonna download this dashboard and see it in action. If you're new here, I'm Calvin, and at Eat The Blocks, we help Web2 developers transition into Web3. So not only are the Truffle Suite team making awesome developer tooling, but they're taking security pretty seriously too. Their new dashboard totally removes the need for us to insecurely save our keys or phrases in our projects whether that's in a config file or an EMV file. I mean, the main job of MetaMask Wallet, for example, is to keep our keys secret and sign transactions for us. And this dashboard actually allows MetaMask to do its job as intended. Truffle dashboard automatically connects to our MetaMask Wallet without any configuration, and we can deploy to whichever network we choose. If you're already logged into MetaMask, this Truffle dashboard just uses that account for its configuration, and then we're good to go. So let's download the dashboard, take it for a spin and see how we're gonna work with it in the future. So if you're already an existing Truffle user, you'll need to uninstall your Truffle installation and then reinstall using NPM with the global flag. This will then give us access to the new Truffle dashboard. According to the docs, it's a minor release, so there are no major changes elsewhere that we need to be aware of. And now that's all finished, we should probably set up a new project. Let's create a new directory on the desktop, CD into it and use truffle init to create the new project. And that was really quick. Let's open up this project and by running truffle, we can see that we have the new truffle dashboard command available. Now we can manually set the port on the host, either on the command line, or we can just hop into the truffle config file and edit it that way but we'll leave everything as default for now. Let's run this new command, truffle dashboard in the terminal and get this dashboard up and running. Okay, so it says it's now running on localhost 24012. Let's open that up. Okay, now let's connect our wallet. Using a logged in account, we need to point to the network we want to work on and then hit connect. Confirm the account that we want to connect with. confirm everything and that's it. Okay, wow. So this dashboard is now waiting for incoming requests. It's using the MetaMask account that we just hooked up and I believe we'll be able to sign transactions from here. I've heard a lot of complaints about Web3 UI, but this was smooth, okay? It's super quick, super easy. Let's see if we can deploy something quickly and confirm the transaction using MetaMask. I am going to copy the Open Zeppelin ERC 720 contract example, and then we're gonna drop that into our project. We'll delete the migrations.sol original file for now. Then in the migration file, we'll just update the name to match our new contract and see if we can get this compiled. In the terminal, we'll run truffle compile. And then we get a successful message. Typically, if we wanted to connect to a network like RinkB or mainnet from truffle, we'd need to specify some kind of network variables in our config file, right? But I haven't done any of that. So let's see how far we can get just by using the defaults with truffle dashboard. Now let's run truffle migrate dash dash network and then specify the dashboard as the network. And, oh, okay, we can see that the dashboard now is showing a pending request. That is pretty nice. So if we hit process, it opens up MetaMask. Okay, so we can see that it's a contract deployment and we're able to reject or confirm this transaction. If we hit confirm, Okay, we can see some movement back in the terminal here. We get our confirmed transaction data back. 
Let's head back over to MetaMask and check out the View on the Block Explorer link here. Okay, so on Etherscan, we can now see all of the transaction details and everything that we'd expect from a contract deployment. I, I literally can't believe how simple that was. Let's go ahead and grab that address and import it into our wallet to make sure everything went as expected. And yeah, we can see that I'm now in possession of a tiny bit of my new token. That was pretty seamless. Now, if the situation comes up where you do want to manually configure your networks, you can by defining a dashboard network inside your Truffle config file, and you specify any additional details that you want. According to the docs, the Truffle Suite team have made this tool agnostic. So if you're using something like Hardhat, you can still route it through the Truffle dashboard. You simply add a network configuration to your hard hat config file and you can get back to work as normal. Everything is then forwarded to the Truffle dashboard. I, I still can't believe how seamless that deployment was. Now, at no point in the process did I have to hand over any of my confidential keys or mnemonic phrases. Now, I can't count the amount of times that I've been in a rush and accidentally sent API keys up to GitHub. It makes me super nervous when I'm working with keys and mnemonic phrases in smart contracts. So this tool is a blessing. Don't forget, if you're already a existing Truffle user, you need to uninstall globally Truffle and then reinstall to get access to the new dashboard. And definitely head over to their documentation for more information and use cases. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the future.